Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be working on this cabinet back here. I used it on my last video as sort of a demo board for how to use my paint sprayer, but today it's time to get down to the nitty gritty and get it painted and ready for resale. So I'm just starting off my prep work, filling in any nicks or scratches with some lightweight spackle. I'll sand this smooth and then I'll be ready for primer. Now it is super humid here today. So this is gonna take me a little bit longer than it normally would. I'm gonna have really long dry times between coats and I need to do a few coats of primer on the inside of this cabinet before I can get to painting. This piece used to be a media cabinet. Now that it's missing all of the hardware out of the inside, I think what I'm gonna do is add a closet rod across the top so it will be useful hanging clothes storage. I'm gonna go ahead and start priming the inside of the cabinet with my favorite Zinzer Bin Primer. There is my first coat of primer on the interior. Since it is so humid today, I'm gonna to set up a fan to blow directly inside here and leave this for a few solid hours to cure. So after I applied my second coat of primer, I decided to take the doors off the front just to maximize the airflow. Trying to deal with this humidity. I've also removed all of the hardware off of the bottom two drawers and the doors. All right, my primer is all dry and I am ready to start spraying some paint in there. The interior of the cabinet is going to be painted in snow, which is a bright white by the Fat Paint Company. Make sure you hang around to the end of this video. Once this is done being painted, I will drag it back inside, get it all staged up nice and pretty and show you what it looks like. blinded. All right guys, it's day two. I thought I'd get up early and try and beat the humidity. That didn't work, but uh, we'll proceed anyways. So I'm going to be spraying this guy in the Fat Paint Company's Mountain Haze. All right, I'm all finished painting. I'm super happy with the finish that I was able to achieve and now it's time to protect it with some liquid top coat. Today I'm gonna to be using this Verathene diamond wood finish in satin. All right, we are on day three of this project now. I was lucky enough to have Mr. Salvage help me move this guy inside and for the last step, I am going to be adding a little bit more detail back to this piece with some fat wax in white. Thank you so much for following along on this transformation with me. If you love this sort of thing, upcycling, painting furniture, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and remember to hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you guys next time.